Hello and welcome back to Get Set Grow in the community allotments at RHS Garden Wisley. I'm Bipinda and today I will be guiding you through successional sowing, planting out tender crops and top tips for growing delicious strawberries. The equipment we need today for successional seed sowing is a bamboo cane, a trowel, label and pencil, watering can. For growing the best strawberries, fertiliser, straw, netting, bamboo cane and string for bird protection. Today we will be planting runner beans, French beans, courgettes, squash, pumpkin, sweet corn, basil and anything else that you have started indoors. And we will also need seeds for successional sowing. Many vegetables need to be sown every three to four weeks to ensure a steady supply of crops through the summer. You can find a small patch somewhere on your plot in order to sow the seeds. Last time I used the back of a landscape rake to make a drill. Today I'm going to use a bamboo cane which achieves the same outcome. Press the bamboo cane into the soil to make an indent in which you will sow the seeds. Use pressure to make the indent as deep as you need it. Always check the back of the seed packet to see how deep you need to sow the seeds. Remove the bamboo cane from the soil and carefully pour some seeds into your hand. Today I'm sowing lettuce seeds. Place one seed every five centimetres along the drill. Using your hand or a trowel, carefully cover the seeds. Pat down along the row to consolidate the soil around the seeds. Label the end of each row and water in thoroughly. Some vegetables need to be planted out after the danger of frost has passed. This tends to be between mid and late May. I'm going to show you how to plant your runner beans. Make a suitably sized hole using a trowel. If you're using a plastic pot, carefully tip the pot and gently remove the plant. Place the plant into the hole so that it's almost at soil level. Firm it in and tickle the soil around the plant. Once you have planted the runner beans, water them in thoroughly. We will plant out the brassicas in the same way as we will plant out the vegetables started indoors. Using a trowel, make a suitably sized hole. As we're using a biodegradable pot, plant it as it is. And then just cover the pot, making sure it's at soil level. Firm it in, tickle the soil around it, and then we're going to cover it with hoops and mesh in the same way we did the carrots in order to protect it from pests. To grow a bounty of strawberries this summer, you need to keep plants growing strong and the fruits protected from birds and other creatures. Strawberries need to be kept watered and fed with plant nutrients for them to be growing well. To feed the strawberries, you can use a granule fertilizer like this one. You simply just scatter it on to the soil at the rate on the back of the box. Later in the summer, I'll use a liquid feed such as this maxi crop. This is diluted into a watering can and applied once a week as a part of your watering schedule. Use straws such as bedding material from pet shops to build a mulch around the strawberries. This keeps the developing fruit from touching the damp soil and deters the slugs. Weigh down the straw with some stones. This will prevent it from blowing away. In a few weeks time, we're going to protect the developing fruits by using a bamboo frame and some netting. Today, we have learned how to sow successional crops, plant out tender vegetables, and top tips for growing strawberries. 
Next time, Leslie will be having a look at the crops so far, show you how to harvest young plants, recap weeding your plot, teach you how and when to water, and look at feeding your vegetable plot. Thank you for watching and good luck with your plots.